scatters when you play the beat, play the beat. A brainiac is back, son. I press rewind. Welcome to Brain Squeeze Reaction to myself, Mark Hector. What are we reacting to now? Fuck. Maybe I was too hyped up for that one. Serial killers. Serial killers, serial killers, serial killers. So, uh, a part of Brain Squeeze Reactions, I'm trying new stuff. So, I'm trying new music. I'm trying to put new content out. I want stuff that, that I can, uh, you know, react to musically. But also, I want to focus on some shit, man. I love studying the human mind. And I love trying to understand why people think and feel the way they do. And what better way to do that than dive into the mind of a fucking psychopath. Fuck knows why I'm doing this. Clearly because I don't want to sleep ever. Now, Tommy Lynn Sells is a fucking psychopath to the hundredth degree. And you think Ted Bundy and all that was bad? I watched one. If you haven't watched it already, I watched one where he was in, in jail. And the excitement. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. The excitement that went through his soul when he was talking about murdering someone. And even just behind that glass as he was talking, you could feel, just feel the excitement like flowing through his fucking veins that scared the living shit out of me and then someone sent me another one and said this one's even worse and it talks about them in the inside the mind of tommy lynn cells so we're just gonna go for it well if you're new to the channel this is how it works i'm gonna pause i'm gonna react i'm gonna talk if you can't deal with that fuck off you're just trying to watch a grown man watch a video what the hell is wrong with you this is a reaction and discussion i i enjoy studying the human condition so i'm gonna pause i'm gonna talk about it, and i get fucking weirded out by shit just enjoy it live life to the fullest man don't judge people fuck just just smile Whilst we talk about a psychopath, I don't know how that fits in. Fuck it, let's go. Comment section, love, love, hey, hey, let's go fuck yourself. They were all innocent children. A son. A brother. Fuck it. Okay, here we go. They were all innocent children. A son. A brother. Lives with limitless possibilities ahead of them. But what these boys would grow up to become, brutal killers. Oh, okay. <sighs> Could their brains have provided a roadmap to the sickness that would consume them? Every mean, vicious psychopath, once upon a time, was an innocent young baby. For some people, the die are cast early in life. Recent research suggests that psychopathy is evidenced in the brain and that those who wind up killing over and over may have been born to do so. Mm -hmm. It's only recently with the advent of molecular genetics and brain imaging. Yes, yeah, it's, it's talking about... I, 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 fucking hell, we talk about this when we do conflict and you understand the human condition. There's psychopaths that it's genetically built it's evolution man evolution your survival instinct survival coding can can slightly be fucked don't get me wrong no shit has got to push that over the edge and got to take it in the opportunity but sometimes there's certain triggers you can educate that as well don't be fucking fooled just because ones that that aren't fucking psychopaths at birth they can still be educated it all depends on your environment and the surroundings that you're in man but there's definitely stuff in genetics 100 percent man <laughs> What it's only recently with the advent of molecular genetics and brain imaging techniques that we've been able to peer into the minds of murderers really for the first time. We began our exploration into the inner workings of the brain along a remote highway in Texas headed for death row where I sat down with a 45-year-old man who could arguably have one of the baddest brains in America. The first time I did a shot of dope it was the best feeling I ever had in my life. And the first time I killed somebody, it was such a rush. And it was just like that shot of dope. Every time I did it, it was that rush again. And I started chasing that high. Tommy Lynn Sells was once a little boy growing up in St. Louis. But around the age of 14, he says he became addicted to killing. How many people have you killed? Lord, I don't know. I, I don't know. 10? Yeah. 20? Probably. 30? Look at a smile. It's up there. Do you know, they talk about, it reminds me of the film Halloween, when he says about the blackest eyes. And, I, and I've always heard about that when you're looking into someone's eyes. And, 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 you know, to me, I'm like, I don't really see that. 
But for something about this fucking dude, I'm looking into his eyes and the sheer fucking delight as this person's going through numbers. And he's like, probably, probably. But just look at his fucking eyes. Uh, I don't know. Ten? It's yeah. like they're lifeless 20? as fuck. Probably. Thirty? It's up there. Fifty? But see, I'm not Billy the Kid making notches on, on my, my holster, so... I know it's been a lot. Psychopaths are individuals. Okay, just to let you know, when that dude gets stressed, he starts stuttering like fuck. He does the same when he's excited. It's a similar fucking yeah, fight or flight system can sometimes go in there. You learn from me and go, this is fucking great. Or you learn from me and go, go fuck yourself. And that dude just started to get the ump here. Just ever so slightly with this dude, man. He's like, yeah, I get, I get your numbers, but your numbers are pissing me off now. Just saying. Yeah. Look for the 20? signs, man. Probably. Probably. 30? Chilled. It's up there. Okay, that's a warning it? shot. But see, I'm not Billy the Kid making notches on, on my, my oh, fuck poster, so I know it's been a lot. Psychopaths are individuals who lack conscience, they lack remorse, they lack guilt. That's one of the reasons why they terrorize society so much. Sells is on death row for one murder but he's linked to at least 17 more. The drifter's vagrant lifestyle helped him elude police for nearly 15 years as victims turned up from coast to coast. I am hatred. When you look at me, you look at hate. When I look at you, I look at hate? When you look at me, you know what hate is. I don't know what love is. Two words I don't like to use is love and sorry because I'm about hate. His methods for killing were as random as the people he targeted. He raped many before cutting their throats or beating them, stabbing others and strangling some. Fucking hell. Vicious cycle. I couldn't help but be grateful for the glass between us. I don't have no feelings. No more. No emotion, no... They showed much poor... Dr. Adrian Rain has studied the brains of people scientifically determined to be psychopaths. One of the key differences that we find in the brains of psychopaths is that there's a structural impairment to part of the brain called the amygdala. This is a part of the... That's the, that's the part, part that uh, talks about your survival instincts. Your amygdala is what controls emotions, the trigger. Okay, the amygdala or whatever this posh dude's... I don't know about you, but he's fucking freaking me out. <laughs> this dude here. Don't you worry, the other dude's fucking with my brain. He is fucking with me, but this dude is equally fucking with me as well. And I don't know why, he's just giving me weird vibes. Element ...to part of the brain called the amygdala. Mm. This is a part of the brain very much involved in the generation of emotion. It was structurally deformed in the psychopaths. And I like to watch the eyes fade, the pupil fade. Fuck. What do you like about that? It, it's just like setting their soul free. They just don't have those normal um, feelings of revulsion and disgust. They are the last images of the Dardeen family. One sadistic crime cells confess to shows the callous, unemotional disregard for human life typical of psychopaths. A 30-year-old mother, seven and a half months pregnant at home with her three-year-old son, both bludgeoned to death. What are you thinking and feeling when you kill someone? It's just like that drug. I'm after that drug again. I, I don't have an on and off switch. I'm just after that drug. I'm after that I can hear the film. excitement, man. During the beating, Eileen Dardeen went into spontaneous labor, giving birth to a daughter who investigators believed to be alive at the time. The new baby was also beaten to death. And oh the body of God. Dardeen's husband turned up a day later, shot three times in the head. I wonder if you could just tell me what happened as you were killing her. Did she, did she give birth to a baby? You know, you're pushing your luck. I'm sorry. Let's let's not get let's not get into blood and guts, because because that's what you're trying to get into. Sells blames much of his murderous rage on sexual abuse he says he suffered as a child. You also killed children. I some get killed, yes. Now, why would that happen? 
I didn't want him to live through the pain I lived through. Notice how he refers to his son. So he doesn't 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 associate children as a collective. He's like, yeah, some some. You also killed children. Just listen to that. I some get killed. Yes. Now, why would that happen? I didn't want him to live through the pain I lived through. It's biology plus environment. It's biology coming together with environmental insults, mm -hmm. which raise the odds of an individual becoming a violent criminal offender. I tried to get in this door right here. Two days after his final murder, Tommy Lynn Sells walks police through the crime scene. And I opened the window all the way up, well, about like this. Uh -huh. And that's how I did. Okay. We kind of stayed up a little later and we got in a little fight about where we were all going to sleep. We laid there and talked, I bet. Um, we talked about at the time, like Britney Spears and NSYNC. Crystal Searles, 10 years old at the time, was sleeping over at her friend Katie Harris's. A decade later, that night is still fresh in her memory. I woke up startled a little bit and out of nowhere, and I was kind of confused um, to a loud noise. I woke this girl up. Her friend Katie was asleep on the bottom bunk. I, I cut her bra. I kind of just like leaned my head up a little bit and I could see that there was this scary old, older man that I'd never seen before. I stabbed her here and then she like jumped back and then, then I cut her like, like this right here. And he had a hand on her mouth and the knife on her neck and she's looking at me and he just cut her throat and she fell to the ground. And she fell down right here. I heard Katie at the bottom of the bed, on, or on the floor at the bottom of the bunk bed, she was like gasping for air and choking, like she couldn't breathe. Thirteen-year-old Katie Harris lay dying on the floor. He was about to shut off the light and he looked one last time and he noticed that I was there. And he didn't hesitate at all. I mean, just shut the door, came right back towards me with the knife. And I walked over here and I went like this. The only thing that he said is, move your hands, because I had him up here, and uh, he reached over the top bunk and cut my, cut my neck. Cells sliced Crystal's neck, severing her windpipe and grazing her carotid artery. I am very sure he thought he killed me. Crystal Searles identified Tommy Lynn Sells as her assailant and her friend's killer, putting an end to his homicidal spree. The fucking coldness and all of that, man. Fucking hell. Why did I pick people as a fucking study? Why? Why, why, why? The issue that I have with this is that... When you study, like that dude who's studying the, the, the brain and trying to understand, and everything that, that he said, that connects. A couple of things about the emotional disconnect. I disagree with that because excitement goes with the same as, as the endorphins in, in fight or flight and all these situations that takes place. So I doubt you become emotionless. I just think the emotions become fucked. They become screwed. They don't become what we would class as natural. Um, so that's the only bit, but, but again, you know, you can't fuck with the dude. He's, he's studied it his whole life, but definitely the connections there. But the bit that really fucks with me is that I want to know why I want to know why I want to be freaked out, obviously, and be like, holy shit, like all the normal reactions. Then I'm like, oh my God, I wonder if it was because he was this and because he was that. And maybe that links him with this. And maybe this is what the reason why he did that. Is he more logical? Is the way he does it? Or does he work on emotions? That way he just went, oh, fuck you, did it. I'm going to kill you straight away. It's all these things. What's his trigger? And why does the trigger exist? When did that first happen? There must have been something that triggered it. Everybody has one for conflict. Conflict starts with confusion, man. Confused, 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 confused. Like you're missing something. Something isn't quite there. Then all what happens is it starts going through. And then the minute that your body looks for a data for the reasons why there's conflict and it figures out what it needs to feel better, in this case, killing, that becomes his, his mechanic for how he deals with internal conflict turmoil excitement shit that he needs to fucking get off his chest whatever you want to call it man there's more layers to it that i'm fucking rambling a bit there but the point i'm trying to say is that it fucks with my head that i'm like i want to know why i want to know deeper than what abc is telling me at this moment man and this dude who's just there just to try and get the gossip i'd, I'd want to keep asking I want to keep asking why to the point that he jumped out of his seat and wanted to put his head through the fucking glass to come at me. And even then, I'd want to ask another question why he done that. What triggered him in that moment? Fuck! Do you remember the little girl who survived? 
uh, yes, there's not a day I, that goes by that I don't think about her. What did you do to her, sir? Her neck was cut. How did you do that? With a knife. Do you have anything to say to her, the little girl who survived? I guess you'll relay this message too, huh? It's very difficult to control a psychopath. They're the person in control. And in fact, in an interview, psychopaths tend to take control of the interviewing. What's your name? Martin. Martin? Yes. Can I call you Tommy? Oh, without a doubt. I don't think she really wants to hear what I get to say. What did you see in his eyes? To be honest, he seemed blank. I mean, there was no emotion. It wasn't hard for him. He, all he would say is, move your hands. You know, it was just, I mean, after what I'd seen him do, he had no emotion in his eyes. That emptiness evident as we spoke. So what if I called you something that you didn't like and you'd think about killing me? Well, if we was in a fight and... Fuck, that made me jump. You know, get your head down in the concrete, then... You dozy you know, fuck. So be it, but... What happens when my head goes down to the concrete? Well, what do you think happens? It cracks like a coconut. And then what happens? You die. This Tommy Lynn Sells, man, this Tommy Lynn Sells is something else. Fuck, it, it, it's such a weird thing. It's a weird thing. Comment section, if, if you know, I don't know what the term is. It's not if you enjoyed that. That's fucking weird. Comment section if you want me to do more of these. I want to go into the Ted Bundy one. I'd like slightly longer videos as well, though, just so I can hear a bit more without this cut shit that's taking place. But fucking hell, this dude is just nuts. Beyond uh, the, the good news, it the good news is it's trying to understand why. So that person who's fucking you know learning about the brain, so at least then maybe you could find some pathway and some connection to stop fucking psychos like this, or at least some of them. But the fact that people like this exist on a daily basis, surrounded by psychopaths, man, fuck, and you could be one of them. I could be one of them. Well, we already know I'm fucking nuts, but it's all good.